Hello again, it's Rachel from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to visit another location of uh, Saint-Vincent-Paul. This one is in uh, South Ottawa. Uh, it's on Queensdale and we're going to go in and see what we can find to flip online on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark and knickknacks.net. Allons-y. So it's very nice, big, very airy and very clean. I'm very impressed. I will return to this location for sure. Now, right when you come in, there's jewelry, uh, this nice mirror um, tray. Oh, could be hung on the wall as a mirror mirror too. But I would I would think this is a nice vanity mirror. There's no price, so Maybe they're not selling it. Just put it back. I like this bagel here, and I rubbed it to see if it was Bakelite. Most of you must know you rub it really nice and uh, until it gets hot, and then you smell it. It smells a little bit like formaldehyde, and um, that would indicate that it is Bakelite. It is very, very lightweight, so my inclination is that it's just uh, plastic. Let's go see. There's more bangles over there. And so there's no prices on any of those bangles here. This is a fabric. I like this one here. It has kind of a pearl look to it. It is plastic, but it depends how much it costs. I mean, it's very nice. I think someone would like that. So I will inquire about the price of bangles. Ladies of a certain age will understand this when I say we need layers. Outing clothing, even in the winter, where we can take off layers, <laughs> we get hot easily. And I like this. This is kind of a shawl, but it's not. Um, it's very soft, actually. I thought it might be itchy, but um, this is exactly the kind of things that I need to go outside, um, even in the winter, I, I swear. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's always, I'm hot all the time. So, 5.25. So, yes, there doesn't seem to be any holes or anything. I'm grabbing that for myself. So, I decided to pass on this bracelet. They're asking $3, and I'm just not sure enough about it. So, I'll leave it there. Nice display here of items. I really like this, but I think... I don't know, not sure about it. I saw this vase here. Um, I mean, there's no signature or anything. It's painted inside, of course, but $16. I'm, I think it might be a little too close for me. And this here is a nice decanter. Oops, and that's just glue residue. It's very sticky. Oh, the bottom is clear. And there's some scratching right there. So um, I will pass on that. Little vintage jewelry box. Oh, this, this straw face here. Oops, there's no price on it. Hmm. Well, depends what it would be. It's a nice pottery. Ooh, wow, that's heavy. Fifteen twenty-five. It is very heavy. I really like this. Uh, little trinket dish or could be a candy dish as well very nice condition um, I tend to think that it's not vintage and uh, might be just a little bit too much for me for resale but nice uh, nice condition nice buy for someone who wants to keep it for themselves now these cute little doggies here very sweet they seem to be in very nice condition too and what does it say underneath? 
It says nothing. It says nothing. But dollar seventy-five. I don't think I can pass those up. They're just too sweet. Now this jar too, really attractive. I like the colors and the design. It has a matte glaze. Uh, there's a chip right there. Oh, that's too bad. It was signed too. This tooled um, silver tone and copper tie off, I would say it's called. Um, definitely missing a top, missing a spout. Six dollars, that would have been nice. And then this here, yep, that is a nose person, so you can put your glasses. And now Hashem sees nothing because her glasses are there. Here we go. It's wood. It's really cool. I've never seen one made out of wood. So um, let's check the price on that. Let's put the glasses back on first. Here we go. One twenty-five. Okay. Yep. I'm picking this up. I like this pottery vase too. I like the the glaze and. And the colors like rust and a little bit of brown and just a little tad of blue throughout. But it's six twenty-five. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. There's no discount because it's not Monday. <sighs> well, I know I can at least strip all my money with that, so let's take a chance. Hey, you don't know until you try. Not quite sure what this is. Uh, there's a hole at the, at the bottom here. It's the it's the tape. What is this? Huh? Any ideas? That's weird. And then there's this cute little pottery. I mean, it could be just a tiny little suckle in there. Very very sweet. Dollar seventy five. Um, yes, please. Okay. I see a diamond <laughs> tea light holder with a metal frame. Um, however, the price is six dollars, and there is a little bit of issue with the metal, so I will pass on that. That's a sugar or condiment bowl missing the spoon. Hmm. Salt and pepper shakers, dollar seventy-five each. L alloy, made in China. Okay. Mm. Oh, I've sold one of those before. This is a Turkish coffee um, recipient. Has a. Uh, wonder how nice it would come back to life if I was to clean it well, but six dollars, mm. no, I can't justify six, I remember I picked that up, it was at a outdoor by the highway garage sale and I think I paid a dollar, so, this is very cute too, little creamer, <clears throat> what does it say underneath there? Made in, made in, Bombay. No, no, no. Move on to the next aisle. Isn't that the sweetest thing? So cute. But there's an issue here. The big chip right at the edge. Mr. Penguin Pottery Guy for. Meh. For resale. Oh, this is yes, this is glass. Two twenty-five. That would be perfect, like on a vanity in the washroom for cotton balls or uh, oil beads. Two twenty-five. You know, I am going to open it up. Make sure there's no chips inside. 
seems to be all good. So for $2.25, I will pick this up. It's a nice decorative piece. Coffee first. Your bullshit second. <laughs> Sorry for the language. I'm just reading what's on the cup here. And this. There's some issues um, with some paint there, so I'll leave it there. We'll come home. Ooh, leopard. We love some leopard prints. Scratch, scratch, lots of scratching. Pyramids and, oh, there's more pottery there. Let's go investigate this. Oh, this is a... Um, Probably a home product. Oh, maybe not. For decorative use, six dollars though. Who is she? Cute little dog, dollar seventy-five. I don't know. This is probably like just maybe 10 or $12 at the very, very most. Probably more like 8 to 10 <clears throat> Eagle. Oh, project. Gary. Gary lost his cup. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh. <laughs> I keep mine. They're so good, easy to drink from. Okay. I also like this little kind of glass basket with gold accent, but um, I can't justify the $8 price for resale. And then, Authentic what? Authentic recyclable, 100% recyclable. Okay. Let's keep the little house. Mickey Mouse mug, very nice condition. Two fifty. Hi, hi, hi. It's very nice, though. And then I spotted those two uh, vases here. They're very nice condition, and you know, I don't know. This one seems to be a little bit more twisted than this one, even though it's a pair. Um, at sixteen dollars, it's a good buy for someone who wants to keep it for themselves but not as a reseller. And then there's this cute pot here. Well, yeah, jar. And um, I like the fact that it has three different textures. This is ceramic and it's glazed, very nice condition, no chips. And then this is also like ceramic, but it is painted matte in black. And then you have the crisscross of straws in those holes right there. And at $4.25, um, it's not probably vintage, but I think it's something that's very, very nice looking. And um, I'm going to pick this up. This aisle, there's different things in greens and browns. I saw this nice glass. I thought, oh, could it glow? It doesn't, definitely not, because it is flashed. You can see a lot of the paint here um, has faded. These salt and pepper shakers, eh, I don't know. They're not just like wowing me enough. Salt and pepper shakers, it has to be like in my face. Because <laughs> I'm an avid collector. I tell you one day, I will show it to you can't be done all in one shot there's just too many of them so <clears throat> if you're interested in seeing my salt and pepper uh, shaker collections please write a comment below so I know how many people are actually interested <laughs> I'm not gonna show it if no one wants to see it now 
This is marble or alabaster. No, I think it marble. Egg. 325 with Easter coming up and a lot of people do collect them so this is something that I'm picking up as well and then there was this this is a very heavy solid wood uh, I guess you can call it a tray for maybe some candies or um, I don't think I would put anything wet in there but I mean it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's hand painted and carved, very shiny. And look at the bottom, absolutely marvelous. And look at the price, $3. So this is going in my basket. Is this something that's gonna glow? Let's test it. Ah, uh, no, no glowing. Okay. Can't blame a girl for hoping. Now, this is a tea light with mineral chunks of crystal something, and it's only two twenty-five. Hmm. I guess I don't know. Is it pretty enough? <laughs> Someone who likes minerals or very nature crystal. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm just gonna put it right there and think about it. This, oh, made in China. No, made in England. Bone China, made in England. And very broken. So, I'm gonna leave it. So, yellows, orange, black, we'll make our way down here. A blown glass piece, eight twenty-five. So that's a little above my budget. What is this basket all about? Whoops! It's all hmm. That was maybe like for Christmas, four twenty-five. Oh. Little Amish couple. Oh, cute. 125. <laughs> Jacob, 2002. Very nicely painted. Great job. Pottery bell without the ding bell thingy. bank so this year okay it's a little pig and mama pig and baby napkin holder very farmhouse decor oh just 175 I think that's cute I think that is so cute. It is in good shape too. So yeah, 4.75. I'm gonna take that. Okay, what else? What else? This is awfully big. Five something. Ooh, that has seen the dishwasher, which a no no. It's a big no no. It's a big no no. Plastic. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Nice black and white uh, salt and pepper shakers, but at two twenty-five each, that's four fifty. That's a little more than I'm willing to pay for resale for those. And oh, that's a music box. Do we try? Five seventy-five. Fish.
all kind of white dishes. Up ah, bees. Two fifty each. No, that's too much for me. This oh four goose or geese. Sorry. We have four napkin rings. Geese napkin rings. That actually would be good for Easter. Huh. What does it say underneath? Abbott. Imported exclusively by Abbott. I don't know, for $325, I think that's sweet. Yeah. I'm not being picky today. I'm grabbing stuff. That's okay. Some days I feel like that. Some days I feel like that. Bluebird. Let's move on. Okay, so this is what I have in my basket. I review everything and I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna get this and I'll meet you in the car with the total. Okay, so I was making my way to the cache and then uh, right behind the cache in this shelving there, there was this beautiful piece of uh, hand-blown glass. I like it and the price, it's made in China. It's not Murano or anything, but the price at $10, I think it's a very nice piece. So I will be picking this up as well. So all in all, not too bad of a trip at Saint Vincent Paul. Uh, let's go home now and see how much I paid for everything and how much I think it's worth. So that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so and hit the bell for notification every time I upload a new video. And until I see you next week, be safe everyone. À la prochaine tout le monde!